I wanted to real quickly do my January favorites. Um, I have about, I don't know, a pretty decent amount of items and they're kind of a lot of, not a lot, but a few new things that I do want to talk about. And I just want to go ahead and show you the products that I used a lot or bought during the month of January. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Oh, and if you can see, clean closet in the background. Um, I'm actually going to go film a makeup collection after this. And I need, I've need i needed to do an updated one for a really long time. My last one was about a year ago. And then I'll be doing a closet tour and um, finally a room tour and all that. So no need to ask for any of that anymore. I'm in the process of like filming those um, videos and getting them up for you. I'm going to start off with nail polishes. Um, these are going to be the ones that I really have enjoyed during January. This first one is an NYC color. Um, so it's a New York color in a New York minute. So it's supposed to dry like really fast. I don't know if it necessarily does that, but I really love the color. It's in the color Manhattan, and it's like kind of this burgundy wine color. I feel like I'm showing up like super, super pale on this camera. So yeah, I'm not like this pale, actually. I don't know why I'm looking really pale, but I just saw myself in the viewfinder. But yeah, so it looks like this, and it's like a really deep burgundy wine color. Um, it's kind of matte, so I like to put kind of a glossy top coat over it, but I really like it. And I have nothing on my nails right now. I'm about to paint them. Um, and this other one is from Revlon, and it's called Creme Brulee. And it looks like this. It's kind of like um, a creamy brown with like some gold shimmer in it and it's really really pretty and it's just like a really unique unexpected color and it's very neutral so it goes with everything and I like kind of putting that over colors um, I put it over kind of a taupey brownish color and it looked really really good so I love that color and the last one that I have been wearing a lot and I'm actually probably gonna go ahead and paint my nails with this even though this is like a really springy summery color um, it's one of my favorites and it's called mermaid to order by OPI and this literally looks so amazing with only two coats. Um, it's like a blue-green with like a bunch of like duochrome in it. It's so pretty on your nails and literally like two coats and it looks amazing. So I think I'm going to go use that in a minute. Okay, and now on to lip products. Um, I've really been liking my L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balm in the color Succulent. It's kind of like this deep um, reddish maroon color. I have it on right now, but... The lighting is kind of messed up in here, like I'm looking really pale, so it, it's kind of, the color is kind of washed out, but it's a really pretty kind of deep wine color, um, great for like fall and winter. The next item is actually by Carez, and it's um, Coors Carez, however you want to go ahead and say it, and it's a pomegranate lip butter, and it's kind of messy, but um, this smells so amazing, and in the winter time, my lips get really dry and stuff, and it just feels nice to have something really moisturizing, really smooth. Um, and I got this in like a pack of like three different ones, and it came with guava, this one, and one other one. I don't know which one it was, I can't remember. But this one is my favorite just for kind of, I guess, the color and also just the smell of it. It has kind of like this, a little bit of an orangey color, which isn't necessarily my favorite, but it's kind of something different, and on the lips it's actually pretty. So it's kind of just what it looks like. So it does give you a nice bit of color. It's not completely sheer at all, so I like that. And other lip products, I have been using my Revlon lipstick in the color Pink Pout to Revlon Matte Lipstick. Um, it's so incredibly beautiful. It's just like the perfect nude pink color. And let's focus camera. So yeah, it's really, really beautiful. It's comparable to Max um, Angel or Max Hue lipstick. It's just, I don't know, I absolutely love this. And I've been wearing that a ton on in January, which is kind of weird because normally you kind of do like deeper lip colors, but I've really been liking that one lately. And now on to skincare and, um, well not skincare, but skin products. Um, I've really been using my Laura Mercier foundation primer and this is just like a mini size of it and I really like this because this is really really moisturizing and again in the winter my skin gets kind of dry and this just creates like a really smooth effect to the face before I go ahead and put on foundation or concealer or whatever I'm putting on my face for the day and I really like that and I think I want to get the full size of it because it's just a really really moisturizing primer it's not waxy or sticky it's just it's really really smooth and I'll try to show you the consistency of it it's almost like a lotion you can kind of see it but it just blends really really nicely it's not sticky um, it just it's super silky feeling so I really like that and the foundation that I have loved and I really want to tell you guys about is L'Oreal Paris and this is the 
Magic Smooth Souffle. And my color is in 518 Natural Buff, which looks completely dark right now because my face is like white right now. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. And I actually only got this a few days ago, so I don't really know if it counts as January favorites, but I absolutely love it. And I want to rave about it and tell you guys about it. It is like, I think it must be kind of like that one foundation that was really popular. Oh, what was it? It was a Maybelline Mousse foundation, I think. This is kind of what that is. It's like a, supposed to be like a souffle whipped foundation. Um, I think this was a little pricey for a drugstore. I think it was like $12. But you're paying for like a lot of like, you know, big packaging and stuff. But the product is actually really, really amazing. It blends really beautifully. And it's just, it's a wonderful foundation. And I really, really like it. And I never normally like cream products. I feel like they... Um, well, cream foundations, I feel like they're too heavy and they um, kind of catch up on rough spots, but this just blends like a dream. You need the tiniest amount, and I really, really love it, and I really think it's really great. So you should definitely go check this out if you're in the look for a new foundation, and even if you don't normally like cream foundations, I promise you will like this because I normally don't like cream foundations at all. Like, I'm so, like, against, like you know, the rep, the Maybelline, like, whatever it was called. What was it? You guys know what I'm talking about. I was, like, so against that, but this is just absolutely amazing. And I, I just, I can't say enough good things about that. And my next favorite is the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I've used this so incredibly much. Um, this is the waterproof version, and the wand is really bent, and it's super, super dark. And, um, you probably can't see right now, but makes my lashes look full and stuff and lengthen and I really love it and it's wonderful wonderful mascara and lastly my favorite blush that I've been using um, is really beaten up but I've used it for a really long time so that's why it's by MAC and it's called well dressed and it looks like this and it's like a light pink I used to think this didn't do anything but I've been wearing less blush lately and I realized that this just gives your face the most pretty glow and it doesn't even like, it doesn't offer like a ton of color, but it gives a really pretty kind of subtle glow and it warms up the skin. And I just think it's a really wonderful blush. So that is it for my January favorites. I hope you guys had a wonderful month of January. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. And um, oh, post your favorites video below if you have one. Okay, yeah. All right, bye guys.